Now, we come to the R through synthesis of the joint. We're gonna go through the shoulder joint, elbow joint, and the carpal joint. Now, R through synthesis, this is the procedure where you access the joint cavity. Either to inject medications or to withdraw a synovial fluid for analysis. So it's a very common practice. Now, it is very important that you familiarize yourself with the landmark that you're gonna use to puncture the joint capsule to give you access to the joint cavity. These landmarks are palpable structures, structures that you can easily palpate to direct your needle in the right direction so you can access the joint cavity successfully and with minimal trauma to the tissues. Now, starting with the shoulder joint, okay? The landmark is the acromion at the distal end of the, of the scapular spine. So you palpate the scapular spine, you go distally till you feel the acromion, then you go just a few millimeters distal to the acromion, and you insert your needle perpendicular to the skin, okay, in a medial direction. This will give you, this will give you, let me do it from this side, okay? So I won't block the view. So you go a few millimeters distal to the acromion, and you insert the needle perpendicular to the skin in a medial direction. By doing that, you will access the joint cavity. Let us simulate that in the live dog, okay? You feel the scapular spine, you go distally till you feel the acromion, as this dot here, this is the acromion. Then you go a few millimeters distal to the acromion and you insert the needle perpendicular to the skin and in the medial direction. This will give you access to the joint cavity, okay? When you do that, the shoulder joint has to be in its neutral status. So it is not flex, it is not extended, okay? Your landmark is the acromion of the scapular spine. 